Hello, this is Wendy. Thank you for coming to my channel, and I'm back. In fact, this video is probably being uploaded probably two seconds after I uploaded the part one, because in part one, I made these three tags. Uh, if you watched it, I just made these very simple, very simple journaling cards out of some book images. And then this time we are making three. So, and I mentioned how sometimes when you buy pre-made stuff, you should always save one as a master, <laughs> a master copy. Um, so you can use it as a pattern for if you want to make more. So this was one I saved. Right? And basically all it is, and it just has a little, little card in it which I want to turn these into this. So, and I'm using a scrap leftover um, file folder. In fact, let me get rid of this bend. All right. So basically what I'm gonna do since, all right, so the card in here is all pretty curved, um, you know, uh, pattern edge. So what I'm going to do is uh, use my pinking, uh, pinking scissors, shears, whatever, on them like a postage stamp. Um, and then, so my question is, okay, so... If you notice, each one of these has a saying or a question too. So when I make the envelope, this is going to be on the front. So when you pull out the card, the image will be there. So that is my plan. If I can remember which one goes with what one, that would be the question. Okay, so that's one. And this one is two. Oops. One, two, and then three. And this one's three. Okay, because this. Oh, which side do I want to use? All right, so what I'm going to do is glue these down onto this file folder. Once again, these are book images that my pen pal, um, Jane, found for me and sent to me because um, she knows I like the odd, I keep saying odd and weird, but it's really not. They're not. They're not. I mean... It's not butterflies and flowers, <laughs> but who says they have to be, who says they have to be? All right. I love the back on these. Man, I wish I knew what that was from. Those are cool too. All right. There's that one. And then last one. Okay. Got them all sticking down. And then I'll get these big honking pinkin' shears. They feel, they just feel big, I guess, because they're so clunky. All right, so first thing I am going to do is cut, 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 cut. All right, so we'll go down this edge. Ugh. 
Somehow these are a pain in the butt. Alright, and then... like these three like this don't you it's kind of different isn't it hmm do I want to change my mind no I won't keep 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 what you're doing keep what you're doing all right there's one There's two. Might as well say these are kind of like big postage. Postage. That's another thing. These always make such a mess. <laughs> Let me get... Let me get that out of the way. Alright. Um, I need my... I really need my inker. My... Dabber. Where the heck? Hold on. Folks. I'll just take that one off. Okay. Got a brand new one. And <laughs> come on, work. Work, 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 work. Alright, there's one. These I'm doing this, uh, this like this rich mocha because I want these more vintage or aged I should say I want a more aged looking because who knows what they will go into but variety is good it is all right so those three those are the cards and you have a writing spot on them now question is what to make the actual card card out of. So, um, where is, give me just a minute. I have a lot of scrap paper over here. Um, Don't yell at me, folks, but I gotta look for a... Uh... Ooh, I know what I... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I have... I think I have something to use. Let's see if this will work. Ugh! Yeah, this is my pile of scraps, you guys, that I've been... Um, well, half of it's scraps because it's what I'm using for my flower journal. And, um, okay. So, for the, um, this was a leftover mailer. I'm wondering if I can, I bet you I could. I can use this too. Alright. This is what makes stuff so fun. Look, okay, so this is already in a loop. So, now the question is... Alright, so basically it's a top with an open top. So... Let's do this. Uh, 
I want to use this one over here because I want that edge. All right. Let's see how this is going to turn out. This is like one of those uh, media mailers um, that you can't tear for nothing. It's like the, the priority bags from the postal. But uh, this has like threads going through it. All right. This is the only one. Okay. I'm going to save those. All right, so if I want this to go down into so let's cut off that. All right, so I have that one. And then, remember, I want these to look aged. And then I've got to do here. And then this one. Let's see. And you know what I think I'm going to do with this? I think I'm going to sew these. So give me just a moment and I will sew them up. Ta-da! They're sewed. <laughs> all right. So all I did, well, you see what I did. And I just sewed around these to make those cards. Now, I need to do the little... Um, um, the cutout, the thumb thing, which is what this is. Uh, we are memory keepers. It's a half, like a tab. So basically, it gives me that. Let's see here. Uh, that one. All right, so those, and, hmm, let's add some, let's age these up some, even though they're like brown bags. Ooh, I'm liking these. I can't believe that worked out perfect, perfect. I was going to use a um, brown paper bag, but I had the leftover because I save everything. <laughs> because you know how you, when you use up your junk mail, then you come to the realization you don't have no more junk mail. You've used it all up. So then you're like stalking the mailman for when he comes each day. Because you know every day you get some type of junk mail, be it advertisements, coupons, bills that you can't pay <laughs> just put it all in the junk mail pile and uh then but then you have to pace yourself and just let it kind of pile back up again until you have enough to you know dull you know really go to town on it because right now it's like I only have a little bit so I can only do like one piece at a time to add it to stuff so yeah, that's a bummer. <laughs> all right, let's first see if these are gonna fit. And of course, I've got them all messed. All right, there's one. All right, there's one. Where's the sand? Okay, oops. There's two. And there's three. Man, that's kind of a funky. I don't know why that. Oops. Let's see if I can. I don't know why it had a, a little peak there. Okay. 
Now, I got to put the... Alright, I gotta remember. <laughs> okay, so this was... Which pillar is the tallest? And then this one was... Are these circles or hexagons? And then this last one was... Is the slice of cheese cut out or stuck on? <laughs> I'll have to show you guys so you guys can answer the questions. Okay, so it says, this one is, which pillar is the tallest? And there's number one, number two, number three. Yeah. So, which pillar is the tallest? Answer, leave it in the comments, and then... Did you guys guess? All right, because I'm going to give you the answer. Let's see. So, pillar. Now, I'm going to go by, I guess, the whole height, with even with that little ball. Okay, so here it is. This one. That's the same. That's. They are all the same exact size. So, if you guessed... They're all the same size, you win. <laughs> if you guessed a number, well, better luck next time. Now, here is the next one. Okay, this one is, are these circles or hexagons? Are these circles or hexagons? Can you tell? I don't know, because it doesn't give me the answer. So. That might be something we have to look up. <laughs> and then this one. All right, let me pull this out. This one's a mind bender, too. Okay. Is the slice of cheese cut out or stuck on? Is the slice of cheese cut out or stuck on? Your guess is as good as mine because I don't have an answer for you, folks. So... <laughs> Take a wild guess. Who knows? <laughs> I don't. I definitely don't have the answers to those. But hopefully it won't bug me in the middle of the night either. All right. Now, I could leave these plain or I could just add a little something, something to that one. And then... Let's see how I have. Let's see. Oops. I don't really want, um, So we can just, something just very simple. Um, and then of course, hey, the yellow that I've been using. <laughs> you know what, let's do, um, here's my little one inch hole punch. All right, we'll see what we can do with those. Okay. We're just going to be super, super simple with these because I think that's what they need because they're kind of simple. They're simple in a way. I don't know if you guys get what I mean. All right. And you don't, and we're not overpowering the question either. So, um, but I will add a little on the edges so it looks aged. All right, so, 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 so. All right, here we go. We're going to add on the crazy little scrap of something, something from somewhere. I don't know. All right, and then we'll just... And 
we're going to add it right in the middle because I like it. All right, and then we have the red, which let's do a little coloring here. Let's, oops. Oh, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to ask you guys now. Let's see. That's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm concentrating. I don't want to mess up. All right. And then... Are these circles or hexagons? And then, oh, where's my, I need to wipe my hands off for a minute. Um, I want to ink the yellow so it just will help pop those edges a little more. So people know that they're circles. <laughs> That'll work. And a little bit on the little white. They're, they're kind of like little fortune cookies. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just tickle myself. I do. I do. All right. And then we'll add on this one. We'll just stick it there. And then that will put in the middle. All right, let me get my glue stick out of the way. And let's see. What do you guys think? Here is this one. Let me put it in there. Oops. Sometimes. Alright, so there's that one. Here is the lovely red circle, whatever, hexagons. I'm having the dickens of a time with the putting them in. Alright, there's that one. And then here's this cheese. <laughs> I don't know why there's cheese. Alright! I got them done. So I got three of those done. And of course, that was my inspiration. Of course, I really didn't have to do much to make that because those turned out pretty good. And then that was the card for that one. So I put that back in my little master pile. So if you guys see in the tag part, so now I have three tags and three, um, envelope cards yeah i'm done i'm done i accomplished something today that was my goal all right thank you guys for hanging out and watching and <laughs> hopefully commenting down below <laughs> your answers to what those mean <laughs> you guys have a great day thank you <laughs>